We're good? You seem so excited for this unit. I don't blame you. Right. Okay. So proving if lines are parallel, I will just remind you, put, put your finger on this. If you want to come with me, you can. If not, just look up on the screen. This goes all the way back to page six. So page six, I told you that if we're told that lines are parallel and you have a transversal cutting through them, then all of these things are true. Conversely, if you're able to show that one of these properties is true, then you, you can uh, conclude that lines are parallel. So this is what we're going to try to do here in this section, except for we're going to throw in polygons in the mix. Okay, so let's start with one here. Uh, introduce variables as needed to show your work if I don't have it. So we're going to, our, our quest is to show if AB is indeed parallel to CD. That's, that's what we're after. Okay, we are a poly, inside a polygon, remember? We're inside a polygon. These are technically, this is a diagonal here. I just make it go past a little bit to kind of show, hey, there's two lines here. So let's figure out the number of sides first. That my, my first step would be like, find the number of sides of the polygon. One, two, three, four, five. I think you all caught that already. Which means... Uh, we can find the interior angle of that polygon. Let's go ahead and do that next. The interior angle of a five-sided polygon would be 5 minus 2. And some of you just memorized this already. Divided by 5. So that's 540 divided by 5. That's 108. Where is that angle? Um, you just do whatever you need to do. You put a letter, assign a letter to it. But I'm going to put this 108 in here conveniently. Because remember, I'm trying to make a point, so I'm going to kind of force things to go where I want them to go. So that 108, it goes there. It could also go here, but I'm going to focus on this one. Because... For me right now, if these are the lines I'm trying to show whether or not they're parallel, I will turn this into a transversal. That is my transversal right here. So if I travel along a transversal, I do have alternate exterior, interior, consecutive, all of those things. I like CIAs for this one, consecutive interior, personally. Okay. So let's, I'm going to put a letter here, okay. I'm going to say, hey, if I want to find that one and see, I'm going to check whether or not these two add up to 180. If they do, bingo, these two lines are considered parallel, okay. That's my goal here. So let's call this angle X. What is this here? This is a trapezoid, right? An isosceles trapezoid, I may add. So how do we find angle X again? 360 minus, how many interior angles does this trapezoid have? Two interior, right? Minus two times 108. All of that divided by 2. So you do whatever you need to do to come up with angles. There's lots of ways to do it. Um, some of you are like, Mr. Jackson, I'm seeing a triangle up here. Couldn't I have found this one? Yes, you could. I don't think it's very helpful in this case to make to prove whether or not these lines are parallel. Okay. So that's why I'm focusing on that one. So here we go. 360, I have to actually, 360 minus two times 108. That's 144 divided by two. That's 72 degrees. So 
Um, I'm going to use my red pen now and just write that in there. Okay, this is 72 degrees. So that's, I don't use alternate exterior, alternate interior, consecutive. I don't use that to prove whether or not they're parallel. I'm actually using other properties to get to that point. So angle X is equal to 72 and angle C is equal to 108. Okay. 72 plus 108 is equal to 180 degrees. These angles are consecutive interior. Okay, so I'm making the point here. I'm saying they add up to 180 and they're called consecutive interior. Therefore, AB is indeed parallel to CD. Okay, if I had done all this work, and let's say this angle ends up being 53.5 or something. Wait a minute, they don't add up to 180, so therefore the lines are not parallel. Okay, so CIAs, in my opinion, are the way to go here. I will do this, but maybe don't, uh, don't add that. Some students I've seen, because you get kind of creative after a while, I wouldn't add this right now. Okay, I'm just going to show you. They, they kind of extend this transversal like that. And then they find, you know, they find this. This is an exterior angle of this pentagon, right? They find that. And then they, are, they find creative ways to bring stuff in. There's nothing wrong with that. I would just say it sometimes gets really messy. And, uh, and you don't really get to show whether or not lines are parallel. Okay, so just... Be careful there. Let's do one more here. B. Um, yeah, I, I would like you to try, but I think I'm going to give you one more here. So I'm, my goal is to show whether AB is parallel to CD. You can tell that there's a transversal here. I'm going to highlight that, right? That's the transversal. I'm going to travel along to get me from one uh, segment to the other segment. Right now, the actual polygon doesn't help to create the transversal. So I had to insert that dashed line. This is my transversal. Okay, so now you have to be creative. How am I going to get angles in here? You might be stuck at first, but remember, there's the big polygon. That's how you get numbers in there. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. N is equal to seven. I will find the interior angle. Interior angle is seven minus two times 180 over seven. It's a decimal. That's 128.57. Okay. This is important. And I'm actually going to write it in. Uh, actually, maybe think about it. What can we do here? Um, I don't know if you see it, but it's it's kind of set up for you to use C and B, which are called what? Alternate interior, right? I don't know if you see that that's kind of like the setup here. I'm kind of getting you to that point. And so to find this one, I don't know if you see the trapezoid here, but that's what I'm going to use to find B, okay? So there's the trapezoid. I'm just going to go trap right there. And so the 128.57 goes here. It doesn't, it's not going to play a role uh, to show whether or not 
CIAs are uh, adding to 180, but it's going to help us to find B. So let's go ahead and do that. If there had been no letter, you put a letter in there. So B is 360 minus 2 times 128.57. Okay, square bracket that whole thing, and then you divide it by 2. So it's basically using the skills you've learned and just applying it to other circumstances, other situations. So I go minus, I get that, I'm going to divide that by 2, 5150, 5150, uh, 43, sorry, 5143. Okay, let's write that in here, 5143. Perfect. Let's shift gears now. Um, I want to find C somehow. Okay. But right now, just remember, C is in between two diagonals. You cannot use one of those formulas that I gave you. Let's focus on A. Let's find A first because we know that this is 5143 here as well. So we can subtract these two from the whole interior angle and then come up with C. And hopefully it's 5143. That's what we want, okay? So angle A is 180 minus one of the interior angles. So yeah, this is probably gonna be, um, it's gonna require some work, right? Some application of what you've learned. So 180. Minus 128.57, I divide that by 2, that's 25.72 degrees. Important, not the final answer just yet, but it is important. I'm going to write it down here, 25.72. Now let's find angle C. I will chunk it up later and, and break it down into steps. Angle C is 128.57 minus A minus B. Okay. So here we go, 128.57 minus 25.72 minus 51.43. Okay, I see. So that's angle C. It's it's off by point one point zero one, but we're not gonna be like right like it's a it's a rounding issue there. But it is definitely close enough for us. Okay, I'm not gonna do that to you where you have to decide between point zero one. Um, so I'll write down fifty one forty three here as well. So now I'm going to make my conclusion. Angle B and angle C are alternate interior, uh, interior angles. That's the first point. Angle B is equal to angle C, therefore, lines AB or segment AB is parallel to segment CD. Let's clean this up a little bit because it's a little messy, right? So I started here, I started with this, and then I focused on this, and then I found A, and then I found C, and then I made my conclusion. You know, only like 500 steps, well, just for kicks. All right, uh, two, three. I know this one. This one took a lot, a lot more. But I hope it's still you were able to follow at least my reasoning. Okay. So, um, 
We're going to park that there. I'm going to ask you to try page 48. That's going to be, I write it down on this. Uh, there's still tiling. I'm going to leave tiling for, I don't know how long the quiz will take tomorrow. So if we have time, we'll do it tomorrow. If not, we'll do it on Thursday, right? Thursday still a day. Yeah. So just work on 48. If you need more practice with inscribed, uh, you want to look up. I'm going to give you another page to try. You want to go to pages 75 and 76. Okay, so I'm going to write that down on your homework as well. Homework, uh, page 75 to 76, inscribed. Polys. So 48, that's right next door. Next page, you try showing whether or not lines are parallel. If you, after today's AC, you're like, I need more practice on inscribed polygons, go to 75 to 76, and I'll post the key as well. I'll, I'll probably have to scan it. I don't think I have that scanned just yet. But um, that's it for today, guys. Thank you.